Hey guys, welcome back to Mark Fisher Outdoors. We are here at the Bassmaster Classic. We've got two episodes that we're going to do in the in the course of the next two days. One of them, we have so much talent working the core tackle booth here at the Bassmaster Classic. We are going to ask for each of these guys to give us a fishing tip. One of them is going to be related to using core tackle products. And then the next day, we're going to do a fishing tip where they can't even mention the word core tackle. So guys, stick around. I think you're going to get a ton of information from these four or five guys that we've got working core tackle here at the Bassmaster Classic. All right, so we're here with Johnny Schultz. And Johnny, like we said, so this one, this is our non-core tackle related tip, okay? Okay. So go ahead and give us your non-core tackle related fishing tip of the day here at the Bassmaster Plaza. So this is something I do every single fishing trip, regardless of what lake I'm on, it doesn't matter. I spend the first 15 minutes every trip driving around as far as I can on my engine looking for birds. I want to be looking for seagulls, herons, doesn't really matter, coots, cormorants, any type of bird that you can see on the surface or on the bank. And I will go check those areas first because that means there's going to be some bait fish in the area, some grass, something good. So dry for 15 minutes, find those birds. That is the smart move. Thank you, Johnny. Yes. I appreciate it, man. That's awesome. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Mike, I've been talking. I, we got so much fishing knowledge here in the core tackle booth, but I got to we cannot mention core tackle for today okay i need your fishing tip that is non-core tackle related miami vice let's hear it i'm gonna go with summertime scrounger head with a jerky j but we're gonna add a trout snap on the line tie for more action in your jerky j so that with scrounger that head. snap is going to give you more, more you found that that's giving you more airport, action more action in it on your scrounger yep and you're still using the Jerky J? Still using it. Okay. Any particular size or it doesn't matter what size? Uh, five inch. Five inch. There you go, guys. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. We're here with Jimmy Easterling. And today, Jimmy, the tip cannot have anything to do with core tackle. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, All right, okay. guys. So, Jimmy Eastling, Fishing Coach YouTube channel. Hey, one of my biggest tips that's kind of more of a secret that doesn't relate to core tackle is fishing around brush piles. So, fish use brush piles as cover, but guys, what they also will do is hang around them. So, I've learned with board face and sonar how these dudes will just not just swim around them. They'll be, they'll be related to stumps. They can be related to logs. So, if you're looking at that brush pile don't be afraid to look around them and you can fish jigs crane baits whatever your type of lure is so hey that's my tip today right here for you guys thank you thank you jimmy appreciate it yes sir i need a fishing tip from matt stefan bpt angler that has nothing to do with core Swim jigs are not just meant for grass. Man. They are one of the most versatile baits that you can use anywhere. Floating docks, wood, fish them deep. You can get a heavy swim jig, fish through deep weed lines or long rock humps can be fantastic. But most people think a swim jig is simply a bait to be fished around emergent and submergent grass, but it is an extremely versatile bait. Use more swim jigs. Docks. Lay down. Good tip. I like that. Rip wrap. Rip wrap. And you did it without mentioning that bait company that we love so much. Yes. Excellent job. Thank you, Matt. Okay. Guys, we appreciate you tuning in to Mark Fisher Outdoors. As always, if you would, please hit the subscribe button, the like button. We appreciate that. We'll see you again tomorrow for another Mark Fisher Outdoors. Take care, everybody. All right, so again, we are. <laughs> All right, so again, we're here at the Bassmaster Classic. We got Matt Stefan at the Cortac booth. Matt, the, the theme that we're doing here, we want tips. Today's tip has nothing to do with Cortac. You cannot mention Cortac, even though it's said about a million times behind you. 
I need a tip, a fishing tip that doesn't have anything to do with poor tag. Top waters in low light periods. Top waters in low light periods. Is that a good tip? You want to expand on that a little bit? Low light periods, I like to throw a top one. Hey, if that's the way, if that's the tip that you want to give, that's fine. Johnny gave us gold. Johnny did? Johnny gave us gold. That's good for him. AU. Yeah. What? That's, that's the symbol for gold. Yeah. Periodic AU. tip. Right. AU. You, what's the symbol for the tip you gave us? Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's start it over. You want to start over? Okay.